everyone, my name is Leora and I'm here to talk about some mental health tips. Today I thought we would discuss the topic of mental illness and the stigma surrounding it. I firmly believe that today there is less of a stigma on mental illness than there used to be in the past. I think that after Corona, after COVID, and after we've experienced the world with a new light, people have actually suffered a lot of pain and have come out with their mental illness more than before. Unfortunately, we're seeing a much higher rate of suicide among children and adolescents, higher usage of drugs and alcohol to cope. Um, and this is very unfortunate. However, I think that the stigma, like I said, around mental illness has definitely become less. More people are coming out with their story and sharing their story. It is factual that talking about our problem actually helps us to heal the problem. Oftentimes people don't want to talk about their past or ruminate on the past and try to relive situations, but it's quite the opposite. I believe that by talking about our problems, we normalize them and we try to to heal our issues. Um, I also feel firmly that physical health and mental health are directly co connected. I think that a gap in the hospital system, in the physical health world, needs to be shortened between physical health and mental health. It is true that whatever we're experiencing in our minds, whether it's good or bad, will manifest someplace in our bodies. So it is critical for us to take care of our mental health as much as it is for us to take care of our physical health. As a yoga instructor, I firmly believe in the practice being therapeutic both for the mind, the body, and the soul. Not only is it critical for us to heal the physical body and also the mental mind and psych psychological mind, but also our energetic selves. As we are all created from energy, our souls, our spirits need healing and balance as well. I think that finding a therapist, a friend, a doctor, a family member that, that you trust to hear your story, sharing your story, will really help you to overcome it. I hope that by sharing your story and coming out, it empowers you and empowers someone else to share their story as well. I believe that we all need to work together in our society to empower and encourage each other to heal, to grow, to learn, to become the best versions of ourselves so that we can then help each other, serve each other. Mental illness is a very hard thing for the individual, but also for the whole community, the family, the direct family. And so although we wanna help ourselves and we wanna help our clients, we also wanna help each other, meaning the whole situation. This is a healing of everyone. Um, and I really believe that mental illness, the stigma is diminishing more and more now. People are more open to therapy. People are more open to community centers or therapeutic healing places such as The Wave or others. And it's becoming more normalized to join a facility, to talk to a therapist, to practice yoga and meditation, to expand our horizons for different healing approaches, not just traditional medication. And sometimes, of course, medication is necessary. But just like any other illness, we come up, physical illness, we come up with a treatment plan and it's comprehensive of different modalities and different treatment approaches. And same goes with our mind. The most important muscle in our body, oftentimes we neglect. 
yet it is the one not to neglect because I firmly believe in the power of positivity and the power of love and the power of healing. I personally healed myself with yoga, meditation, therapy, and I continue to practice this because it is a practice and it's a way of life. I think that it's a beautiful thing when people do take control of their situation and help themselves so that they can help others. I really appreciate you joining me today to share about this topic. I'm open to hearing new ideas, conversations that you'd like to have, topics you'd like to touch upon. Um, I thank you so much for joining me this afternoon and I hope you have a beautiful and blessed day. Namaste.